Hi all, glad to meet you in the new content of Sales Return and Refund in Odoo 16. So what does Sales Return? Sales Return is a process of returning the product which is being purchased, previously purchased by the customer. So you can return a product even if you have paid or not. So if you have paid for the product while you are returning the product, you will get the original payment as refund. So the return can be due to many reasons like the customer may not require the product anymore and the product may not match with the description and the product may get some damage upon its delivery. So let's check how to manage the sales return and refund in Odoo 16 sales module. So let's check how Odoo manage sales return. So just get into the sales module and create a new quotation for that choose a customer let the customer be azure interior and we have to choose a product so the product be cable management box so i'm letting the quantity to be five and just save and confirm this quotation to create the sales order so once you click on the confirm button you can see that the sale order is created now we need to create invoice for this so let's create an invoice and by clicking the regular invoice so the regular invoice is created and we need to make payment for this so in order to make payment just click on the confirm button so that you can see another button with reg like register payment is triggered so in order to make payment just click on register payment so that you can uh, register the payment uh, through the uh, journal the journal here we are using is bank and the pa payment method is manual and the amount is one one five dollar which we uh, which is a uh, uh, 115 dollar and you can click on create payment so that after reconciliation the payment will be moved into the bank okay now here we can see uh we need to deliver the product so uh let me click on the validate button to make the delivery so let's deliver the product uh, so that now we have uh, delivered the product to the customer so you can see that uh, currently the product is in warehouse uh, that is wh stock and the product has moved into the customer side that is azure interior so by clicking the traceability you can see the complete report that is traceability report from where the product has moved now we need to return the product the return may be due to many reasons like uh, the customer may not be needed the product anymore or uh, he uh, may not like the product or maybe due to quality issues or parts may be missing or mismatch of the product from the uh, website due to different reason the customer might return this product okay so we need to return the product or the customer need to return the product in order to return the product first you need to click on the return button so that you can return the product so click on the return button uh, and here you can see that in order to validate the return you have to set the quantities first uh, to return and click on validate button so that the return will be completed so now you can see that uh, the return is made from customer side which means currently when we deliver the product the product will be in the customer side and when we return the product the source location will be the customer side and the destination location will be the stock side that is wh stock so now the product has picked from the customer side and moved to the uh, warehouse okay uh, after returning the product we also need to ensure that we have uh, refunded the amount so we need to refund the amount now so in order to uh, refund the amount we need to add credit note so the uh, reason we can specify the reason for the return or refund so we can see that uh, not required anymore okay so you can set the reversal date in, in two ways that is specific it can be specific or uh, journal entry date uh, and you can also use a specific journal so currently we are using here customer invoice as the journal so click on reverse button in order to make the refund and click confirm so that the payment will be moved to uh, the customer side when you click on register payment okay so click on register payment so that 
the payment has moved to the customer side. Says return and refund keeps the customer closer to the seller. So thank you for tuning the video.